Let's walk through how to do a GeoRestore of a managed instance database. Let's do a quick review of GeoRedundant storage. You can see here we have our primary region, we have our secondary region. Because managed instance is a PaaS service, we automatically back up to our primary region. We have three copies there, and those are asynchronously moved to a secondary region. You can see backups copy four, five, and six. These are the backups that we will utilize for our GeoRestore. Let's briefly touch on some GeoRestore considerations here that I believe are important. You can see here we have our recovery point objective of up to one hour, and we have our recovery time objective of up to 12 hours. You can read in more detail about these GeoRestore considerations as we'll be providing the link in the description of the video. With these GeoRestore considerations kept in mind with respect to RTO and RPO, we may be able to save money on our Azure spend. If these GeoRestore considerations meet our BCDR needs, we may not need that secondary managed instance, which could reduce our cost. Okay, let's get into the demo. Here you can see I have two managed instances. We have our Dayte ADS Migration MI. This is going to be an East US, that's our source managed instance. Then we have our Dayte Geo Restore MI, that is in South Central US, and that's going to be our target managed instance. Let's switch over to our source managed instance, Data ADS Migration MI. Under Data Management, here you can see we have Databases, Database for Geo Restore. This is the database that we will be doing a Geo Restore of. Staying here on our Data ADS Migration MI managed instance, let's go to Compute and Storage. Look at backup. We need to ensure that the Geo Redundant Backup Storage radio button is selected and enabled. This will allow us to do a Geo Restore of our database within the same subscription to another region. Okay, let's now switch over to our Data Geo Restore MI. This is our target of our database recovery. Here you can see that you can create a new database up here in the top of the screen. However, we're going to go over here to the data management pane. We're going to select databases. Once we select databases, it'll give us the ability to create a new database. Let's go ahead and select new database. Okay, on our create Azure SQL managed database screen, we're going to type in database for GeoRestore. We're going to click next to our data source. We're going to choose point in time recovery. We're going to make sure we have the, our source managed instance. In this case, it was Data ADS Migration MI from the East US. We're going to select in the drop down our database for GeoRestore. You can see there our last available backup date. We're going to click next to additional settings. For additional settings, we're going to inherit them from the source database. We're going to select next to tags. We're going to leave these empty. Then we're going to do review create. Here you can see we have basic information, our data source, additional settings. This is a way to check to make sure your deployment is going to go as planned. We're going to go ahead and hit create. It's going to do some validation. It'll do its deployment. Once that is complete, you can go here to your resource, go up to our managed instance, and you can see here on Data GeoRestore MI, we have successfully recovered our database for GeoRestore. You can see it's online and it's creation time. Mm -hmm.